Welcome to my world, everyone. I'm ticked off, as you can tell. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane, and Michael Lane is who I be. We need to be about truth. I'm going to tell the truth, man. Uh, join me on uh, my show every night where I play indie music or I talk politics or I talk whatever. Entertainment. I do more than politics. But join me. Uh, but let me tell you something. We have crooks like the Obama administration, President Obama. We have crooks like Susan Rice. We have crooks like Hillary Clinton. We have crooks like John Kerry. We have crooks like Eric Holder, Withholder. We have so many crooks that is unbelievable. It's the most corrupt and non-transparent administration of all time. But we have the biggest crook that I have never seen. I've never seen this in my all this in all my life. And I'm no spring chicken. We're talking about the media. The media. Here we have a story that I've been telling you all along. And everybody been been uh, doubting me and doubting and talk about this. Uh, uh, a right-wing conspiracy on Barack Obama, all because of his skin tone. We're judging him from his skin tone, and that's it. Let him slide. Some people say, let him slide because of his skin tone. And now, there's been emails that's been uh, released by uh, uh, the Watchdog Group. There's a Watchdog Group called the uh, Judicial Watch, and the Judicial Wa uh, Watch uh, released... Uh, I believe like thousands of emails, and there's one in particular that came out. And look, it was um, it was uh, supposed to be classified. What is, it's not supposed to be classified. First off, what is it doing classified? But it's supposed to be from Ben Rhodes. It's an email from Ben Rhodes. Now Ben Rhodes is not just any other guy. It's not like Obama doesn't know him. Ben Rhodes is an assistant to the president and the deputy national security advisor for the strategic communications. So he's not, he's not no, you know, just no little wash up, this little uh, guy that nobody knows about. He sent an email and it was dealing of, I think it was on uh, the 14th or something like that. Like after September 11th, after the attack, it was on the 14th, and they were saying that they need to prep Susan Rice. In other, in other words, we need to tell her what to say and tell her how to lie and to dodge stuff. Now, it talks about the goals of what they need to do. Now, this email, not, it went out to different people, but it also went out to Jay Carney. Jay Carney. So all the time this man sitting up there talking, this dude was lying. I told you that. I knew that. I told you that on my radio show, if you listened. But his plan, as he put in the email, was to underscore that these protests are rooted in an internet video and not because of the failure of Obama's policies. Said that in the email. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what it said in the email. Close to the election, now weeks away from the election, it said, oh, snap. President Obama's uh, so-called peace around the world. See, he thinks, because he was on his narrative saying Al-Qaeda's on the run, GM is alive, and, uh, and Bin Laden is dead. Al-Qaeda's on the run. Al-Qaeda's decimated. Not only that, he's so damn arrogant. He thinks he has no kind of experience. So he thought that if he go up there, bring his little pink uh, teleprompter, and get up there and speak, and he's going to speak everything to power. Yeah. We see how great that worked. We see how great it's working out now in Russia with Vladimir Putin. And Putin said, you can keep your damn pink, uh, rosy, and, and sissified teleprompter. Because I'm tough. 
I'm an alpha male. And I know you ain't nothing. But anyway, the email went on to talk about rejecting the video. I mean, to, to push the video and reject everything else. Reject the, uh, the, the, uh, the original report that was sent to Leon Panetta. Leon Panetta went to Obama himself in the original saying, this is a terrorist attack. The man lied. Obama lied. Everybody, they, they knew it. And they lied to the families. We're not even talking about the survivors. The survivors are locked away. They are locked up by the federal government. Hidden away purposely. You ain't got to hide them. Why, why hide them? Oh, wait, maybe you're hiding them from the blaze or hiding them from other, other uh, spots. National Review. You don't want them to get a hold to that, to them. So you, you do this to protect the president. Because it sure is not the real media. It sure is not going to be ABC. This is humongous news. This is humongous news. This is proof right here. That Obama and his administration lied and they covered up four dead heroes. They covered it up. And Miss What Difference Does It Make is sitting here writing down, getting her pen and writing down her speech or getting help from her speech to, uh, to, to, to announce her damn candidacy for 2016. And the media says nothing. The media says nothing. The media does nothing. You all should be outraged. The media doesn't even talk about it. ABC's Jonathan Carl talked to a uh, lying ass Jay Carney who said that it really we weren't talking about a video. I mean, we weren't talking about uh, the terrorist attack. We would talk about the protests. And you remember how Susan Susan Rice said there was a protest in Cairo, and, and you know it's pretty much spilled over from there the protest in Cairo wasn't about the video the protest in Cairo had to deal with Al Qaeda the lies never stop so here we thinking that in Egypt it was all about that video but it wasn't a protest it's a fight in Al Qaeda with Al Qaeda in Cairo so even that was a lie And the media says, Jonathan Carl, ask this wimp, Jay Carney, all kinds of questions, cornering him. I mean, asking him tough questions. What did ABC News do? They didn't even talk about it. This is a crime. Our, everybody, ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, they all should be locked up. And here we are stuck on some damn NBA owner. If we have a president that don't give a damn about four dead Americans, how in the world are you going to sit back and think he th gives a damn about you? And the media don't give a damn about you. Some people can't live and breathe without uh, mainstream media telling them how to live. You better start doing some research for your damn selves. And stop having people do it for you. Stop having people think for you. We have the worst administration that this country has ever seen. And it's going to get worse if we don't wise up and rise up. These are perilous times. I've never seen I've never seen the media like this ever in my life. I never thought I would see today. I knew that they were leaning left. Everybody knew. But this is ridiculous. This is aiding and abetting. This is straight up covering up a cover up. These people should be locked the hell up. And you know what? The media is just as criminal as these Democrats and these damn Republicans. Oh no, I haven't forgot about you. I haven't forgotten about 
Mr. Boehner. I haven't forgot about Lindsey Graham, who wants people fired and not indicted. I don't want anybody fired. I want them in the firing line. Is it me? Or am I is it me? Is it just me? Is it wrong to care about four Americans and the family members that lost them? That sacrificed? These guys died so we can live. I must be crazy. I must be the only one. And nobody's pissed. Instead, we're going, to be, we're going to be talking about race. This is a race hunt. This is a witch hunt. You're an Uncle Tom. You're a coon. You're a sellout. You're a racist. And the only color these people care about is green. Obama made too much money for these Republicans. And you have the, the media who could give a damn about all of us covering up for this administration. Unlike anything we've ever seen before in life. These are perilous times. Perilous times. They should be under the jail now. And they're not. And they're not, nothing's going to be done. Nothing's going to be done. And the tricks of the media is not to talk about it, because if they don't talk about it, you won't know. But you will know. You will know. And it may be too late. Like it or not.